What is an f-stop in your camera configuration? A lot of people don't really understand the difference between what an ISO is, what an f-stop is, and how they play off of each other. To be really simple, an f-stop is a change in the iris settings on your camera. And if you aren't sure what an iris is, an iris is like the aperture logo in Portal. It's one of those ratchets up, ratchets down, makes the the circle larger or smaller to let more light in or more light blocked. Yeah, that's the sentence I'm looking for. And the iris works like the iris in your eyes. You know, your pupils dilate and expand in order to let more light or less light in to change the exposure on your retinas. So cameras work the same way. So I'm going to shoot some vi I don't know whether it'll be video or stills, but you're going to see it as video of what each of the f-stops look like and how they change the way an image looks. And I'm just going to use a common household plan against a, a white background. So it's not going to be exciting stuff, but you should be able to see how the f-stop changes the focal length and the amount of light in the image. Okay, so we've got our scene set here. And at this point, I have the f-stop set fully open and we're going to step through the ISOs so that you can see those first. But this is ISO 6400. Now we're going to step it down. This is ISO 3200. This is ISO 1600. This is ISO 800. This is ISO 400. This is ISO 200. This is ISO 100. And this is auto. So we're going to go back to 6400 right there. And now instead of changing the ISO, we're going to step through the different aperture settings. This is aperture 3.5. Four, four point five, five, five point six, six point three, seven point one, eight, and this is pre getting pretty close to where I think it ought to be set with this particular ISO setting. Nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 22, and we've been all the way around. We're back to 3.5. Okay, so now we're going to move in closer so that you can see how it's changing the depth of field, not just the amount of light. This time we've got exposure set to auto, so hopefully you won't see as much of the difference in the amount of light, but you will be able to see the change in the focal depth, the focal length. So notice right now that down here in the image, things are in focus, but out here, they're out of focus, and over here, they're out of focus. So we're only going to change the stop, and right now we're at 5.6. This is 6.3. This is 7.1, this is 8, this is 9, this is 10. Now, look at how much more in focus this is, how, or I guess how high, much higher up the plant the focus goes than it did before. And as we take it to 11, and 13 and 14 this is even more in focus and you can see my finger which is a little lighter is much more in focus now than it was before and at 16 it really starts to pop in focus and at 18 when there's no light my finger is fully in focus and 20 22 25 
25, 29, 32, 36, and then we go back to 5.6, and all of a sudden, my fingers back out of focus. This is 10, 13, 14, 16. So, as you adjust your stops, you're changing the focal length to balance how much available light there is to the depth of field that you're going to have with what you're shooting. 